My name is Mandy Demester. I'm a professor here at the Baker Institute for Animal Health, Cornell University in New York. The ultimate goal of owners of breeding mares is to produce a healthy, viable foal each year she is bred. Unfortunately, one of the greatest impediments to achieving this goal is pregnancy loss in the first two months of gestation. The first question owners often ask when a pregnancy fails is, why did this occur? And very unfortunately, in the majority of the cases, the veterinarian has to say, I don't know, because we know so little about the underlying causes of pregnancy loss in the first two months. As a result of that too, we have very few diagnostic, preventative and treatment options available to us. I'm delighted that my team and our collaborators have been given the opportunity to partner with Grayson Jockey Club Research Foundation to directly address this gap. In this research project, we will be investigating novel causes of early pregnancy loss. Previous research has really focused primarily on the health of the endometrium. Clearly important to nurturing that developing embryo but very little has been done to focus on the inherent or intrinsic conditions of the embryo itself. The embryo having a unique genetic composition that can determine its own fate. The Equine Pregnancy Laboratory has teamed up with veterinarians and our long-term collaborator, Dr. Terry A. Rodsup at Texas A&M to investigate the genetic causes of early pregnancy loss. In our early studies using clinical cases of early pregnancy loss tissue that have been submitted to the laboratory, we have identified a condition called aneuploidy, that is loss or gain of a single chromosome. In our new studies, which we will be investigating in this grant, we have identified a second genetic condition called triploidy. In the case of triploidy, the individual, the developing embryo, is inheriting an extra full set of chromosomes, so it ends up with three complete sets of chromosomes instead of the usual two. And we know from studies in women that this is incompatible with life. In this research grant, we will be asking the question, how common are these two types of genetic disorders in early pregnancy loss in the mare? We will also be asking the question is what are the origins of these genetic disorders and can we identify tangible um, variables that can be modified in the environment of that individual that reduce the chance of it occurring. And finally, we will be looking at some of the clinical characteristics that present along with this genetic condition so veterinarians will learn how to identify it in the future. We hope this new data will be able to directly informed clinical practice, arming veterinarians with new diagnostic tools and clinical parameters that they can use to try and minimise the impact of this very common reproductive condition.